it was at the first anniversary when, like I said, the media house learned of it and came and it was highlighted and then the public, you know, became interested. Almost daily, people come in and ask to see this mummy as I dubbed her. It started like this. The individual died at the Mandeville Public Hospital then, on September 2, 1997. The remains was moved to our place, and um, a relative who described himself, identified himself as a grandson, came and told us he was in charge of the funeral arrangement. The body was embalmed, as is our custom. For the first two weeks, no arrangements made. First month, similar situation. He came, he told us he was awaiting word from his father. Nothing happened. Three months passed. We haven't seen him since then. So I said, it's peculiar, young man, because for a year now, I doubt your father is going to, you know, do anything about it. We have been invited from time to time over the many years to give talks on modern science, be at the individual high school, collectively when they do have their courage, the expo, and even other Caribbean University. <laughs> <laughs> it does not decompose, dehydrates, shrinks gradually after years. Vis-a-vis, -vis, when the body is not embalmed, just stored in a refrigerator, then you do have decomposition. How does one embalm the body? Well, it's done like we call it the straight case, meaning that no autopsy is done. You do the incision where you have the carotid artery, both left and right on any human body, a parallel to the jugular vein, and the fluid, which is commonly called embalming fluid, mixed with formaldehyde, etc., um, is injected into the body and it circulates to all the points, to the tip of your fingers, to your toes. <laughs> 